So TGS 2023 is in the books and there's been a lot of cool reveals, smaller things here and there and in-depth looks at some of the bigger games like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and a game that we're going to talk about here, Deca Police. Many are saying RPG site and more, this could be or is their game of the show because it's such a new fresh look brand new rpg brand new ip from level five coming back from the dead to give us something very unique and different and in this video we're gonna break down the big stage show that they had going over what this game is about what's happening with it and when it's actually going to release because we don't have an official release date even though level five says 2023 maybe so we'll get into that but before we do what's good everyone oj here welcome back to another video please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new and click that notification bell to get the latest and best nintendo switch and rpg news on youtube now let's go ahead and jump right into it we're going to start off talking about deca police and this stage show brand new footage running on playstation 5 we did not get a look at the nintendo switch version at tgs 2023 so we'll see what happens there but i'm guessing level 5 will make a competent and solid nintendo switch version of the game they do have quite a bit of experience with yokai watch and other titles so i think they will be fine in that respect now let's get into this because the one thing that I would say just out of nowhere the first thing that really just strikes me about this game is the visual look not graphics in terms of polygons and detail but the style the art it is so vibrant it is so nice I love what they're doing it looks crisp on the PlayStation 5 hardware and I think it's going to hold up across any platform you play it on because it's coming to PlayStation 4 of course PS5 and the Nintendo Switch. So I'm really looking forward to just really soaking in all the different graphical styles and looks that this game has when it comes to what they're doing with the art. There's some nice details in the open world segments. You can run around the world. It's not just a point to point type of crime suspense RPG as they are calling it. There's actually open ended segments where you can walk around, talk to people, do side quests, other things like that. So that's pretty cool. Now the futuristic look i think really blends well with the police aesthetic i mean we've seen this before with a game like astral chain although that's a little bit darker in tone ghost in a shell type of style this is a little bit different but it has some similar vibes here and there in terms of futuristic police style so i do love that love me some astral chain so this game obviously very different from astral chain but have a similar vibe at times so i do love that about the game and they have that theme from the original first trailer they had that theme playing while you were running around in the open world <laughs> while you're running around in the open-ended areas so it seems like that will be the theme for the open-ended areas or open world whatever you want to call it and that is awesome because that theme is so good i love it so much so the fact that that's going to be the theme that you're hearing all the time at least that beginning part there in the city at night very good there so once you get to a certain area where you need to go you can handle different cases in this case they were handling case number two zero zero two and you can explore locations you can go to different things but once you get into there you need to collect evidence interrogate people look at different things on the scene in order to collect more information and then from there you can actually use your characters that have different skills of interrogation or skill levels for certain aspects and you can pick between them because your whole squad is essentially there and then you can use different squad members in order to gain intelligence at a more effective rate or even get things you might have not gotten if you used a different person when talking to someone so i actually like that they incorporate all of your team members in the different aspects of the game now you take that information you log it all down who they are what's going on what they've said then after that you can have a bit of a conference with all of your team members and it kind of moves forward the story like okay you discuss what you heard what's going on what's happening and then from there you get to the next part which this next part was hilarious because 
a bear, a bear in a outfit, it's a jewel thief, right, with ninja smoke bombs, comes in with a gun, starts blasting up the place a bit, smashing things and stealing uh, the jewels, so it was pretty funny to see that, especially the smoke bomb, it's like, what the heck, it's a bear outfit, smoke bomb, ninja, whatever, I mean, who knows, but this game is probably going to have a ton of crazy concepts and themes just like that, but we know about what the crime suspense stuff is all about. We know that there's going to be conversations and what you need to do to find evidence. Remember, this game was supposed to be the next evolution of Professor Layton, and they ended up just spinning it off into a brand new IP. But what about the combat? What's going on here? Because it seems like they've made some significant changes to the combat based from where it was back in February when they showed the game off and now at this point. So at least before, from what I understood, it was far more turn-based where you can control each character and kind of move from there but now they have it a little bit different you control one character and it's essentially a shared ap pool it's a shared point to where you're like okay everybody has this and then each action that they can do takes ap points and what you can do is you can actually use that action you can go over to a different character on a menu and use that action and they will do that but outside of that they're going to be attacking as well so it's a bit of a hybrid of an action atb based turn based elements it's kind of weird but it makes sense once you watch it through now i'm not 100 percent set on that decision at this point i absolutely have to play it first and see how it all works out and see how everything kind of mixes together but so far it seems really in-depth seems fun seems slick as well easy to pick up but hard to master especially if you're playing on a harder difficulty or if you're playing some like secret bosses or harder difficult areas it definitely seems like things are going to ramp up quite a bit so i do like that about the game in terms of what they showed off here at tokyo game show 2023 now you have non lethal takedowns remember you are the police here so you're not trying to kill them you're trying to just arrest them and that's what they do here as that bear escapes the rest of your team goes there and takes the bear out so that's pretty cool now after all of that it's interesting because you collect all the info post crime scene and then from there you really need to figure out like what happened you go into the deckism and you figure out exactly what happened and who actually was it and that's the cool part about this game now once you actually do all that with the deckism and everything you actually fight the person and when you fight the person they're not gonna go very easy you see this dude with the top hat on he is our main suspect and obviously he's going to fight back which triggered a pretty cool fight i like it as a boss battle it kind of has some different elements to it multiple different elements that we're going to talk about and i'm guessing they're going to get crazier and crazier as things go along here but we got a little bit more information on how this game's battle system works because as someone's timer is going if you attack them you can actually break that timer gauge and break what attack they're about to do so you're definitely going to have to strategically use your ap points between each different characters between harvard and his crew in order to make sure that you break those battle timers and make sure that you don't get hit with huge attacks because it looks like some of the bosses here can do really big damage to you which a boss should do overall and and the thing in this demo, at least, that I loved is that the battle conditions change in the middle of it. Once you do enough damage, it kind of goes as like a form change, right? Or like the second stage of a battle. And in this one, they actually took your teammate hostage. He got decked with a punch, took your teammate hostage. And then now you have to figure out a way to get that teammate back. But you can't use lethal force. So it locks your lethal force and you actually have to figure out a way to use a special attack that will deflect off the different enemies, hit the actual person to where he let go of your teammates. So I like stuff like that because it's going to make battles a bit more dynamic in terms of how they play out with special conditions. So that's pretty cool. Now, one thing that we already know about, which they've discussed and we've seen it a couple of times is the crime beast sometimes even after you apprehend them it goes into like stage three of the battle and that would be the crime beast where they have a lot more power and are pretty much out of control for the most part this part was interesting though because in this part as you did damage to them, I saw that the character started moving more, Harvard started moving a lot more, and you collect these different things. Now, of course, you guys can let me know for those 
you know, who know about it. It's in Japanese, so I can't really know exactly what was being collected and everything, but it seemed like you were collecting stuff to help build your AP or a special meter to where you can do that big attack to do damage and take down the crime beast. And I was very impressed with the hybrid action and turn-based battle system here. I did read the preview from RPG site where they did say that you can dodge different attacks in real time, you know, with certain moves and how you're going about the battlefield. So once again, it is a hybrid between ATB, turn-based, and action. And I love that. I love when games kind of put that hybrid action out there and do something unique with their RPG system. So this was great. Overall, I felt that it was a phenomenal demo for DECA Police. This game is absolutely looking better than expected. Like, I already knew the game was going to be incredible. But after I saw this stage show and I did read what other people were talking about when it comes to the battle system and everything, and when it comes to just to the game, like the really cool aspects, like the Ace Attorney and the Professor Layton and all the different type of genres and games that it kind of mixes together, it really nails all of that. And it's got a great cast of characters. And another thing that I want to add, at least with the Japanese voice acting, it was was spot on it was such good voice acting really good music good graphics good sound effects good everything looks like it has a great battle system so this game better than expected get hyped get ready deca police is coming but exactly when is it coming because there has been no indication in terms of a release date outside of 2023 level 5 is just saying 2023 and I'm just looking at my calendar here. It's already September as of the time, the end of September as of the time that I'm recording this video. And that means we have October, November, December. We already have most of the big games that we know that are coming to Switch, PlayStation 5, PS4 are already dated. So exactly when is this game coming? Now, from what I understand, there were people there that asked representatives from level five, like, hey, what's going on with the release date? And some of them, I guess, suggested that it could be delayed to 2024. And I'm guessing that, yeah, if you don't have a release date for your game and you showed it off to where it looks pretty much complete, but you're still not talking about the release date something tells me there's something going on there and the game is coming out probably next year maybe early next year but please not february because february already has three massive rpgs with grand blue fantasy relink persona 3 reload and final fantasy 7 rebirth so we don't need another big rpg in february please let it be january i think january would be great obviously if you wanted it to come out in 2023 it was going to be before december right it'd probably be november the game was going to come out and november wouldn't be a bad month for the game in my opinion i think that this game is probably going to do most of the sales on the nintendo switch for the most part so i think that november is a pretty good month there isn't a massive pokemon game or anything like that there's super mario rpg i think that there's also star ocean the remake star ocean second story r so i think that it'd be a clean november release if it was dropping in this year i'm not so sure that's happening so january would be fine too so we'll see what they ultimately end up doing but I'm ultimately saying that DECA Police is an incredible title. I think it's going to review really well. I think it's going to sell decent enough. And I think this can turn into the next big level five franchise for them as they make their comeback run into the Western market and into the gaming industry. It's just super cool to see level five do this, see them get back to it, see them really happy and energetic talking about the game, demoing it for people at TGS. They seem excited and hyped about this and getting it into the hands of everyone not just japan not just a yokai watch situation but everyone gets to play this game and wants to be excited about it so very cool there let's see how level five handles it for the rest of the year and what happens but don't hold your breath for a release in 2023 anticipate a launch in 2024 and if it happens this year in 2023 then we can all be excited and surprised and be like yes let's go so that's what i'm going to say right now when it comes down to it so what are your thoughts when it comes to Deca Police, the stage show, the style, the music, the gameplay? What are some of the things that you like? What are some of the things that you don't like? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell and check out my other Nintendo Switch and RPG news right here on screen. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you for the next one. Peace.